now, the lights are down and the curtain rises on the first act of Break of Heart. Starring Rita Hayworth as Anne and Orson Welles as Franz. finest music teachers is an old man named Alex Bjorkman. Some of his pupils are glad to pay $50 for 30 minutes of his time. Others rarely get a bill and never see a clock. Among them, a girl named Anne Thurston. Anne, well, come in, come in. Tell me the truth. Were you really staying at the studio tonight or did you just say you were? Because if you just said you were, I'm going to turn straight around and go right... You work all day, don't you? You haven't quit your job. No, but I... Well, you can sell pianos at Simon's and be here both at the same time, so I'll hear no more apologies. Besides, don't flatter yourself. I'm expecting someone much more important. A great conductor. Not Roberti. <laughs> Roberti. Yes, he's back in town. Yes, I know he's conducting Friday night. Uh, but don't worry. I'm not expecting him for an hour yet. And besides, he's never on time. <laughs> now, what's new? Well, I've done it. And The concerto? I, uh, I brought it with me. Let me see it. Here. And any good? Well, I'm scared to death to say so, but I, I think maybe it is. No, I don't care if it's good or not. I've got you working. After all these years, I've really got you working. I... Come into the other room. Play it for me. Oh, well, I'm too nervous to play. You're nervous. What do you think I am? What if it is good? What if you really like it? I'll tell you what if. You'll quit that job and get some sense. I can't quit my job. I've got to live. And I know just what you're going to say. Only alone, then. Only till you can pay it back. <laughs> do I play the piano or do we start arguing again? All right, Miss Independence. Sit down. Play. <laughs> you know, I love you. Sure, sure. If I was just 120 years younger, come on, let me hear. And that's good, good. Go on, go on. <laughs> Pay no attention, I'm not in. Please, you'd better see. Oh, all right, I'll see. I'll be right back. Who is it? Your star pupil. And don't keep me waiting. Franz. Alex. Franz. Franz, it, it's good to see you. And for once, I'm not late. <laughs> Before I forget, I heard your Sibelius program on the radio, the one from Detroit. Oh, I was afraid of that. Then perhaps you can explain why you conducted in that horrible tempo? Well, there was a lady, Alex. We had an engagement after the concert. I didn't want to keep her waiting. At least you're honest. That's the only reason you'd believe. Oh, well. Uh... Someone inside? A girl. She has a concerto. I'd like you to listen. Well, of course, I'd be glad to some other time, Alex. Friends, no. Oh, now, please, Alex, I'll just stop by for a moment. There's someone waiting in the car. Well, let her wait. I wanted to ask you about a concert version of Tristan and Isolde. Tristan? Yes. Is there any reason why the garden passages couldn't follow the prelude? Franz, Wagner still is a little smarter than you. Right. Let Tristan alone. Let's get to the piano. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, uh, please excuse me. Uh, I'll run along with the orphan. I'll call you tomorrow. Anne, no, no, wait. Oh, it's all right. I'll go out this door. Good night. Anne! Well, what's the matter with her? There is nothing the matter with her. The matter is with you. That wasn't very kind. Oh, I'm sorry. Who was she? Her name is Anne Thurston. It wouldn't have hurt you to listen, and it would have meant a lot to her. When she calls, tell her I apologize. Huh? She's just beginning to claim, Franz. And you should remember, if anyone, the steps are not covered with carpet. You're a tremendous success. But you're changing. Be careful. Please be careful. I'll be careful. And I said I was sorry, but I don't have the time to listen to amateurs. Amateurs? And what about my twist on arrangement? Who's huh? talking like an amateur now? Well, I seem to be getting myself in deeper and deeper. Oh, this is stupid. You and I quarreling. <laughs> Come in. I'll play it for you. That girl, give me her address. I'll make you happy and send her a dozen roses. Wait a minute. Uh, Thurston, you said her name was... Anne Thurston? You know her? Of course I know her. Of course it was seven or eight years ago I met her at the academy. Better make it two dozen roses. But she's changed so. She was such a child, and now she's, she's lovely. I know it. The address. What's her address? I know that, too. What about Tristan? Forget it. I'll go find her first and apologize in person. Thank you. 
thank you for waiting, Ann. I, uh, I had to get a taxi for a friend. She didn't mind? Well, don't think about it, Ann. You must believe me. I, I didn't know it was you just now at Gorkman. Of course you didn't. I haven't seen you for so long. Did Yorkman send you down to say all this? And Oh, I'm sorry. Now I'm being rude. Well, being rude is part of my nature, oh. not yours. Look, I know you haven't much time. It's good to know that you remember me, and I want you to know that... Well, you want me to know what? That I've thought about you often since the Academy. Thank you, Anne. I want to say congratulations. It's such an inadequate word. You're a great success, Don. I've thought about you, Anne. I don't believe it. Oh, but I have. I'm being completely honest. Not so much as a person, but as an association with all that was good in those days when I really worked, huh? Seems so far away, Anne. It is far away. As are most good things. May I talk to you? May I take you home? Oh, there's a subway in the corner. Well, my I car is I... just around the block. Sounds like... I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed? Why on earth? <laughs> You've been rather stupid. There's a husband waiting, huh? Oh, no. A friend. Well, I'm embarrassed because I'm poor. Oh, my darling. Uh, I'm not dressed for you, Franz. I, I couldn't be even if I expected to meet you. I, I live down in the village. That's very nice in the village. And not because it's artistic, but because it's cheap. And my apartment's shabby, my furniture's falling apart, and, and I'm ashamed. You haven't changed. I do remember... So intense, so self-conscious. Well, I have a reason to be, haven't I? But I don't intend to apologize to myself again. I didn't ask you to talk to me, to take me home, to do anything. If you still want to and you get bored stiff, well, it's your own fault. That's what I like about you, Anne. What? You have such a gift for making one feel at ease. <laughs> Come on. stopping for? Because that's all there is. It's not finished. It's beautiful, then. It is like poetry. Or do you think I'm just being nice? Mm, I don't know. You're working on it. You're going to finish it. I hope so, someday. It's your first important composition, isn't it? How did you know? Oh, because it's about yourself. Perhaps. Sad and confused and lonely. The city is in it, too. Washington Square, wintertime, evening, street lights and snowflakes and quiet. <laughs> I know, and I tried to write about the same things once. You composed? Oh, yes, I, I... I'll never be a composer. It's what I wanted, but I, I just... I haven't got it. So I tried to speak through other people's music. It's nowhere near a satisfactory, but far more profitable. And tell me, you never submitted anything beyond old Bjorkman? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, to whom? Why not to me? But I did to you. Oh, I used another name. I didn't want any favors. Oh, what happened? You sent it back. Oh, did I say something nice? That it was charming and lovely and lacking in importance. Oh, now I'm embarrassed. Oh, no, you were right. It was completely unimportant. But the concerto, when you finished it, promise you let me see it, huh? I promise. Franz, I, I'm tired. I, I have to be up at six in the morning, and I... I, I see. I've been polite, only a little patronizing, and I behave myself. I believe you're frightened of me, Anne. I want you to go. Why? Because eight years ago, I was head over heels in love with you, and I don't believe I ever quite recovered. You do nothing but overwhelm me. You are the strangest girl, Anne. <laughs> Sometimes, if you're not too busy, maybe we can talk again. At the moment, I'm suffering from shock. Seeing you tonight, I wasn't prepared for it. Good night, Fran. Good night, Fran. Two tickets for tomorrow night, please. The Roberti concert. Sorry, not a thing left. Any box seats? No, they sold out. No, oh, well, I've done my duty. Me, I hate music. My wife hates music, too. But that Roberti, <laughs> she's swooned. Who's next, please? There's nothing left. Not for the Roberti concert, miss. But I just wanted a single seat. Sorry. Thanks. Excuse me, uh, aren't you Miss Thurston from Simon's? Yes. 
I thought I recognized you. You got that Steinway for the boss a few weeks back. Yeah, I wish I could help you out with the ticket. I tell you what, though. If you want to walk around to the stage door, Roberti's rehearsing now. I'll phone back and tell him to let you in. Well, well, thanks. Uh, just don't let Roberti see you, Mrs. He's in an awful mood. Really? I won't even breathe. 